I think I just need to try to get everything over as quick as I can. I just hope they're happy, and if they're happy, I'm fine, you know? But it sucks because I'm not happy. I don't care. Oh my god. Hey guys, it's me McCall. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Ah, <laughs> this video is my most requested video, point blank period. Wow, hi, how we doing? Some of you probably haven't seen me in a long while because my heartbreak video was released a year ago. So hello, if you're back, I missed you. A little bit of a backstory for anybody who doesn't know. A year ago, I released a documentary about me healing from heartbreak. I felt so alone and I documented the whole experience for six months. It got a million Views, which is crazy. I did not expect that to happen. Since then, I've gotten more than 6,000 comments and DMs all together of you guys sharing your story, giving me tons of love, supporting me, hundreds of people asking for me to make this video a year later. I didn't know if I wanted to do it because it feels like I'm bringing it up again when it's so far in the past, but I have a lot I want to say. So, what? Before we get into it, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys, and I love sharing these things with you so much. And I think that we have a really powerful bond, and I do not take it for granted at all. I love you guys. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with you guys. And check out my other social media down below if you would like. Let's get into it. Originally, I thought about reacting to the video, and then I quickly realized I don't want to watch it. I have not watched the full thing through in a year since it was released. I don't like to watch it. I'm gonna get into that. I lived through it. I know what happens better than anybody, so I don't need to go rewatch it. I do not recognize the girl in that video. That might sound cliche or cheesy. It is the fact. I'm sure so many of you guys can like relate to that feeling. I've grown so much, and it makes me so happy. I can barely verbalize how much I feel like I've grown and healed it's pretty epic in my opinion and I can't believe I was so sad over somebody and it's even more crazy because it's gonna happen again it's probably gonna happen multiple times and it's probably gonna get worse and worse every time because that's life it's crazy how much you can heal and change in a year when I released the video I was healed and I was moving on but even from that healed version to now it's crazy my morals are the same my personality is the same but my mindset is so much stronger and better which makes me really happy I am the happiest I've ever been I will literally be hanging out with my best friend Sean we'll just be driving somewhere and it feels like every day I just scream I love life I literally sit there and I just go I love life and it's so genuine and like so much excitement builds up in my chest and I just have to scream it right then and right there so more than anything I want everybody to know who's watching this that you guys will be happier eventually I guess you could say it took me a year and six months to scream I love life but here we are reflecting on that situation it's such a minuscule part of my life now you know it used to be such a big part of who I am and what I was going through it's so minuscule in the grand scheme of things which I think is pretty powerful powerful and awesome. If you would have told me a year ago, as I was sitting there about to press the upload button, if you would have been like, hey McCall, so in a year, you're gonna be graduated from high school five months early. I just graduated high school. You're going to move to LA, you're going to pursue your dreams, and you're gonna make the best friends ever. I would be like, you're funny, that's really cute. I mean, there's a recap, that's what's happened. If you guys watched my zero to one million followers documentary, you would know more of the story. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. I am so proud of that video. One of these days we're gonna look back at this footage and be like, damn. We did it. We fucking did it. Welcome to the pound. Anything else y'all wanna add to that? There were moments where I didn't know if I was going to stay in the pound. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, thank you. $7,000 going into this house right now. They offered to sign me. No way. Regardless, I worked my butt off so I could pursue social media and then I moved to LA with my five closest friends and I live in LA now. I'm just pursuing my dreams and it's so crazy. I would not have believed you. I would not have believed you. More than anything, I just want y'all to know that that can happen for you, whether you want to go to college or you just want to get to sophomore year of high school or you want to marry your boyfriend. Whatever it is, it can happen. And a year is so much time and I don't think I've ever realized how much time it really is until now, reflecting on me a year ago. It's so insane. It's crazy. It's spooky wooky. Alongside me being the happiest I've ever been, a lot of hard stuff has happened. I lost three family members in 
the month of February and I've been grieving and I've been hurting and losing those people has been the worst pain I've ever felt more so than my heartbreak I'm at a place where I can feel that pain and still feel really happy and grateful and I think that that's where I've grown most as a person that I can be going through one of the hardest periods in my life and still be so happy snaps for character development baby in fact if everything goes to plan my next video will be a video about me grieving from losing three family members in one month I've said it once I've said it again I love you guys and I really try to make my YouTube channel a place where we can come together and we can actually be friends before filming this I sat down and I read comments from my breakup video didn't watch it but read the comments I scrolled way back on my TikTok and read some comments and I feel so blessed and grateful to know you guys and that you guys can help me and that we can help each other and lift each other up if this is your first time seeing me for months or a year you know I still make videos every week and I would love to have you a part of my journey for a while I felt scared that nobody would want to watch my videos if I wasn't sad I built a connection with so many of you guys when I was sad and I felt like if I'm happy no one is gonna want to watch my content and I'm realizing that that's not true at the end of the day I am a creator I love editing and telling stories and I think that that's why we bond I just want you guys to know that you guys have changed my life I love you guys so much and there's 75,000 of you which is crazy, hello. My advice to all of you guys is that if you feel like how I did in that heartbreak video or you're just in a really low place, it gets better. And I know that right now that might not help, but like experiences and actions are louder than words. And you know, I feel like let me be your example that it does get so much better and that's on period. And it's gonna take us all different amounts of time, but it's gonna happen. And when it happens, I'm gonna be cheering you on face cause I love you. I also want to say thank you to my family and to Daniela and to all of the boys in this house. Josh, Aiden, Nate, Gavin, and Sean. I love y'all. Special shout out to Paul and Donzel. You guys haven't met them yet, but they're living with us right now. I'm just having the craziest time of my life. This has been Heartbreak One Year Later. I just wanted to speak from my heart. I'm so happy that that video has helped so many of you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for giving me your time. I appreciate it more than you'll ever know. I hope that you guys stick around because I love you. And I would argue that we have fun every week. Again, hit that subscribe button. And this is not happening to you, it's happening for you. The best is yet to come. My DMs are always open, my comments are always open. I've said thank you a million times, but thank you. I will see you soon with an all new video. Bye guys, deuces. <laughs>